Hi, I'm Tom. I'm Angus. Welcome to Smoke and Dagger Barbecue. So what are we cooking today, mate? Man, I was watching The Simpsons earlier, and you know that rib witch episode? Oh, God, it looks so good. Oh, yeah, we can just get one of those from Macca's, right? McRib? No, nah, man, they're gone. Like, gone forever. Never again. Oh, shit. Oh, we're gonna have to smoke one ourselves. That sounds so good, but I haven't got any barbecue sauce. Don't worry, man. I got you covered on the barbecue sauce. Hey. So how the hell do you even make a rib sandwich? I'm glad you asked. It's pretty simple, mate. Three steps. We're gonna prep our meat, get, grab some baby back ribs. Number two, grab a rub, go for something sweet. And number three, get your smoker up to temp, 130 degrees Celsius, chuck them on for about two hours. But then you're gonna need some sauce. So tell me more about that sauce. Yeah, I got you covered on the sauce. I have a recipe I've put together, it's called the chub sauce. Look, it's a combination of uh, dry ingredients, wet ingredients, put them all together on a big old pot, bring that up to simmer. You're looking at about maybe 30, 45 minutes, bottle it up, you're good to go. Yeah, nice, nice. And then after all that's done, we're gonna grab some bread, we're gonna throw that slab down, we're gonna grab some pickles and some onion to cut through that sweet, and mm mm, you got yourself a rib sandwich. So what we can see here, two racks of ribs. We're gonna flip them over. First step is gonna be taken off the membrane. I like to use this little non-special knife just because it has a nice small edge that I can easily get under the skin. So as you can see here, the membrane is sticking up. What we're gonna do is grab a piece of paper towel and you're just gonna gently slide it back. A little bit like that. All right, for today's ribs, we're gonna use the Cosmos Honey Killer Bee Rub. Quite a sweet rub. Salt, honey, sugar, and some spices. Get a nice coating all over the top. And just pat your rub in. Be out of all.
All right, that wraps up another great cook. So we're just gonna go through our three criteria, taste, look, and X factor. So from my perspective, the taste is quite good today. I'm gonna to four and a half. The reason for that is very sweet ribs, possibly the best I've ever done on the Smoky Mountain, cut well by the pickles and the onion. Mate, what are your thoughts? Love the taste. It was candy ribs done well. We had an excellent rub, excellent sauce to go with it. That's a solid four from me. Now, how'd you find the look of that cook? Yeah, really good from an overall looks perspective. I think that rub was excellent. Um, probably they could have held together a little bit better, and I know Angus is going to talk a bit about that, but I'm going to go quite well again with a 4.2. Yeah, look, it's a, it's probably a 3.5 for me. Barbecue ribs where they, they didn't come off the bone as easily as we thought. That's probably due to the barbecue cuts we're receiving in Australia for um, pork ribs. They, uh, they don't have the same amount of meat on the bones that you get in your uh, traditional baby back ribs. Yeah, and how about the X Factor, mate? Tell us about that sauce. Look, every time the chub sauce comes to play, you're gonna get a good result. So that's gonna be a solid 4.5 for me. I thought it dished out the goods. Yeah, I'm gonna agree. Great sauce, great kind of candy flavor. So excellent stuff all around. Great success. Unfortunately, that's all we have time for today. And before we uh, love you and leave you, just wanna say, Hey, if you guys like what we're doing with the channel, feel free to like this video, comment, subscribe, and just follow what we're doing. Just some lads from Perth who love a bit of boozing on the weekend and filming some barbecue. Cheers.